Hi everyone, welcome back. I have a naked hand again. I get bored of my nail designs so quickly, so it's been like a week and a half, two weeks. But I have a little package, a PR package. It finally came, well, I say finally. Um, I wasn't waiting too long, to be honest. It's just by the time our emails got sent to each other, um, my, me and Born Pretty, um, it was too late for it to come for the Valentine's thing. So it came a few days later and I'm so excited because look, this is that solid spider gel. How weird is that? It's just a clear spider gel. So you can do whatever you want with it. And then extension nail, hand nail, non-stick hand gel thing. I always get confused. Nude pink. Um, I don't end up using this. I had a little play around with it. That's why it looks like that. Uh, don't actually end up using it in this video. But I think I'm going to try because I've seen people put nail forms on or the nail tips um like you're going to do acrylic and i think i'm going to try using that for that got the super top coat and i must say i am very impressed with this very impressed but i'll talk about that a little bit more when we actually come to use it but i had a little sniff <laughs> i always have a little sniff um smells really not really nice it just it, it, yeah, it's it's all right, I suppose. Um, it hasn't got a strong smell to it or anything like that, so that's good. And then I have the... Do I just have the clear one of this? Let me just double check, but I've got the pink one now. Oh, I've got the clear and the milky white one. Uh, and I asked for the pink one because I wanted to try something out with that and look how sticky and stringy it is I love it perfect perfect rubber base gel consistency and then this might be one of my favorite gel polishes CG01 no 106 I saw it it looks so much better in real life than it did on the the picture on on the website it's so pretty it's got so many different like opalescent um pearlescent glitters in there i love it it just shows up like pinks and blues and purples yeah it's really really pretty so i absolutely love that so let's see what we can actually do with it so i will be using the rubber base gel in 06 so i've prepped all my natural nails already um i've chosen some i'm just going to use some tips just a nice quick easy gel extension i've etched the inside of all the tips I have primed my nails, um, I have base coated my nails, I'm just going to work on the thumb first. I think at this stage I'd only primed and prepped. Uh, no, I must have base coated. I'm sure I did. They just don't look shiny for some reason. But I feel like I did, maybe I didn't. Oh, I'm so confused. I'm pretty sure I did. But you just want to put just enough on the base of where like the cuticle is and then push it down onto it like that and look how well it holds itself that's incredible it's not oozing out so i've used just the right amount for that but to make sure it doesn't move while i'm curing it i use one of those little clips and that's it all cured so i'm going to wipe off any sticky residue from the top and underneath and then i just filed off that little because it always comes with like a little nipply bit doesn't it on the end of the press-ons where it's come out of the mold so then i take the just a tiny little cuticle bit almost it's not not a cuticle bit i don't know the name of it it was out of like a sheen set of 30 diamond drill bits super cheap uh, but just buff over go around all the cuticles the drill bit give it a wipe and then we can do the rest of the nail. So I'll whisk through that really quickly. I'm sorry I haven't replied to um, comments on the last video. I've literally just sat down. It's Tuesday evening at, what time is it now? Nine o'clock, five past nine. Oh my God, it's just been hectic. Um, my mum is in hospital now. She went in last Thursday. She w went to have the operation the first operation on Friday. She was down in theatre for four hours. It didn't work. They couldn't end up doing it. Um, so they tried again on Monday and that was finally, that finally worked. 
um, and then she's got the big operation, open heart surgery tomorrow. So we've been visiting her quite a lot and looking after my dad. So I've done the other hand. Uh, so all fingers, all nails are now looking beautiful. And then this, I was just going to do the tip and like fade it up towards the cuticle. And I was like, you know what? It's too pretty. It's going all over the nail. I only do one coat. It only needs one coat, really. If you wanted more coverage, obviously, do two coats. Do three coats if you want. So make sure that they're super thin. I like that um, it's a really thick gel. So all those glitters, I mean, that's just one one coat and all of that glitter was in that one coat it is jam-packed and that super top coat absolutely beautiful and i mean it's been how long has it been four days since i've done these and that super top coat is uh it's really holding up well so this is the middle finger i've just done the super cop top coat on that i can't say it I keep wanting to say super cop tote um and i've used it's like a what's it called aurora chrome powder um don't know what brand it is i think it might have been from sheen so i've just put that on the middle finger and just give that a rub and then i dust everything off and do another top coat on that but i have by the way i have read your comments um, I just haven't really had chance to, to comment back, but I do really appreciate your comments um, and I will definitely get back to you. We are, obviously it's the summer holidays as well, not the summer holidays, the school holidays, the half term holidays. So I've got three teenagers at home as well. Um, but this stuff, so I was talking to G from G's Now Spot. So we were saying like you could add pigments to this, take a scoop out. Mix it on a palette with a bit of pigments, with a bit of glitter. Um, you could mix a bit of foil, like gold leaf foil into it. You could mix so many different things. Or you could do what I've just done. You could uh, put it on, cure it. And then because it's super sticky, you could add any pigments to it that way or chrome powders. Um, you could before you put it into cure tip a load like so matte top coat your nail put this on stringiness effect or whatever you want to do and then just pour a load of glitter onto it cure it brush it off it's so so versatile you could literally do any color spider gel you wanted so i'm going to put that glitter gel polish on my ring finger as well and top coat that as well um top coat and do the exact same as i did to the middle finger to the pinky and give that a dust off and a top coat um, and then i decided the two full glitter ones i wanted to change it up a little bit so i ended up buffing all of the top coat off and making sure it was a nice matte um finish so that I could paint onto it so i grabbed some black paint gel uh, gel paint and a super fine detailing brush this is one that i've actually trimmed myself so it's even thinner um, and i'm just trying it i've never done it before so it didn't go so well i was trying from memory to think of like butterfly wings i've seen people do like butterfly wings on their nails before um, because I record on my phone and I've only got one phone, I couldn't pull it up on anything. And then it wasn't until after I was like, I could have used the iPad. I could have used one of the kids' phones. I could have used the telly that's in the room and pulled up YouTube or whatever. It is what it is. It was a long time. Um, I'd been doing the nails pretty much. Oh, no, I did have a break for dinner. I was up in the room for about two hours, two and a half hours, then had a break for my dinner and then came back up for like another two hours. So it took a long time. I was just, my mind was just not with it at all. I'm trying to remember when I actually did these. It, it was Sunday. It was Sunday. So it was a night before my mum was going in to have the surgery that didn't work on the friday so i was like well if it doesn't work again and i had all this going through my head um so i wasn't really paying attention to what i was doing and things were going wrong 
yeah, it, it wasn't great for me. <laughs> but we're halfway through the other side. The first operation's worked. She's got two more to go. <clears throat> Thursday is the big one. So Monday they... Friday, sorry, they went through her groin to uh, block off a valve because it turns out she was born with an extra valve as well that they only found out about on Wednesday, last Wednesday. So uh, they've blocked off that valve. Then they've got to go in uh, open heart, open her all up on tomorrow. Uh, fix what they've got to fix. And then it should be in ICU for a few days. And then I think once she's recovered, like 80% of the way recovered, she's got to have three um, stents done. And then she should be tickety-boo. I know most of you probably don't care. A few of you have asked, so I thought I'd fill you in. It helps me talk about it, I think, as well, really. Um, that gel polish, I've got some on my palette and I've just making like a fade from the cuticle down towards the tip on my pinky finger and I just grabbed BP21 which is like a really really nice nude colour um, to do some dots on the butterfly wings and then this stuff I keep saying and then because I get so excited um, this stuff I've used to attach it is glue for attaching nail tips to your nails um, but I've used it a few times because it is a really, really good, uh, like a rhinestone or a gem gel glue sort of thing. So I'm using that. Oh, I'm knocking everything. If you have seen the Sheen haul, Sheen haul that I did uh, Sunday, uh, I had these butterfly gems and they're so cute. So I thought, well, I've done butterfly wings. Let's put the butterfly gems on. So I got them in the place that I wanted them to be, give them a good cure, um, top coated around to give it another cure again, and they're done. Look how cute they are. And I had to get the butterfly ring on as well. Why not? Just a quick thank you as well to all the new subscribers. Um, yeah, if you are watching and you haven't subscribed, give it a click. You'll help me reach a thousand. We're so, so close. We're like 30 away from a thousand subscribers I didn't think when I started this channel last year I don't know I was just like if I get to a hundred that would be amazing that means like there's a hundred people that actually like what I'm doing um and then it kept on getting more and more and I don't know it's a little bit overwhelming but heartwarming as well I don't, I don't know if overwhelming is the right word I'm not sure it's just it's just didn't think people would actually like what I do. <laughs> I don't know. Never have faith in myself. But um, yeah, everyone that's ever subscribed or ever watched a video or even liked a video, thank you very much. It is really, really appreciated. But let's see if we can reach a thousand before February is over. Um, yeah, that would be amazing. Thanks so much for watching. I really do hope you like this video. If you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Leave me a comment what you think. Um, let me know what you're getting up to. If you've got kids that are off school this week, what are your plans for the week? Are you on holiday? Are you going anywhere nice? I need some ideas. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye.